Hello beautifuls, this is Aroma here and welcome back to Love is a Game. We're here with these gorgeous people. <laughs> As I look at him clearly, I feel something stirring in the back of my mind. Why does he look so familiar? Have we met before? I tilt my head as I try to remember. Is he an old classmate? Maybe I knew him as a kid. <laughs> Are you trying to pick me up? He laughs and I feel a smile tugging at my lips as I watch his eyes sparkle happily. His cheeriness is contagious. Sorry, I must have mistaken you for someone else. I apologize, but the guy waves a hand at me. Don't worry about it. Anyways, I just wanted to see if I could get some water for the dog. And a nice mocha for me. He's taking care of the dog. That's so sweet. Yeah, no problem. I was starting to ring up his drinks. Ah, uh, crap. He's patting his pocket, suddenly looking embarrassed. This guy forgot his wallet too? I'm sure I have it. He's blushing slightly as he continues to dig in his pockets, confusion growing on his face. It's fine, I can start you a, start you a tab if you like. What's your name? He freezes for a moment when he looks up at the ceiling, deep in thought. Huh? He bites his lip. After another few moments of silence, he shrugs, flashes an apologetic grin. I guess I'll just take the water for the dog then. Does he not want to give me his name? I blink with surprise, but I grab a bowl and fill it with water. No, he genuinely seemed confused. I hand him the bowl. He takes it and glances at my name tag. Michiko, what a cute name. My cheeks flush at his compliment. Anyways, thanks. He waves at me before heading outside the cafe and setting the bowl down in front of the puppy. I find myself watching the messy crouches next to the puppy, smiling. Something clicks in my thoughts. Hey, that kind of looks like... I fumble my pockets from my phone and begin flipping through the saved screenshots. <laughs> oh my god! My finger freezes over one of the pictures from the Atomi game. It's an image of Milo petting a stray. With a shaking hand, I hold my phone up side by side with that guy outside. I feel my heart stop for a second. It, it can't be. Before I can think about what I'm doing, I run outside. Oh, hey again, Machiko. He stares up at me expectantly. Your name isn't by any chance Milo. His eyebrows sent together confusion for a second before it turns to me beaming. Yeah, how'd you know? I take a step back. No, it can't be. Do I know you from somewhere? I can't stop looking from the image on my phone to the guy in front of me. His outfit, his hair, his smile. Suddenly I remember all of the guys that noticed this morning. The cool looking man at the crosswalk. The abrasive guy that I've tripped over in the park. The easygoing man who was listening to the musicians. The flirt man who'd winked at me. The well dressed man who couldn't find his wallet. And finally the friendly guy who got water for a stray. It can't be all of them? Um, Milo looks at me concerned, coloring his features. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, Milo, what is it you do for a living? Oh, I... <laughs> he falls silent, and the same confused expression crosses his face. He seems to think hard about it for a little while. It's weird, I can't seem to... Milo cuts off again, lost in thought. It would be a different case if he just said he was un unemployed, but watching him get so confused, it's like he can't remember anything. I realized this, watching him struggle to remember his occupation and the same way he struggled to remember his name. He can't be the same, Milo. He just can't. My mind kept trying to, to rationalize, but I couldn't argue with what was right in front of me. On the off chance that this is real, do you think... Oh, well, do you... Um, I hesitated for a moment before opening the game on my phone and holding out to him. Do you recognize this? Milo's eyes grow wide as he looks at the screen of the game. But that's... Milo looks like he... Like he's beginning to panic. That's me! And those other guys! The other guys? He remembers them? Milo looks back at the game. His hands are trembling. I don't know. I mean, I think so. They seem familiar. He begins tapping the screen madly, searching for an explanation. He freezes as the game shows a background of an in-game Milo's house. That that's my room! It really is him! Milo suddenly looks at me terrified. What happened? I recognize this is my house, but I don't know where it is. My heart clenches painfully clenches painfully at his last his lost look. I'm still having trouble believing that this is real. Milo stares deep into my into the screen of my phone, looking at the drawing of his room, as I watch him something down dawns on me. What about the other guys? They're probably in the same state as Milo. No real home, no real job. 
No real money. Milo, I think I can help you. Huh? He tears his eyes away from the game and looks at me confused. We need to go find your friends. I think I ran into them not too long ago. They're here? His expression brightens for a fleeting moment. But what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I pause and think about it for a second, realizing I don't even know where to start. L look, for now, let's just find them and then we can all try and figure this out, okay? Milo doesn't respond as he stares blankly at my phone. He looks so sad. I feel my heart clenching more the longer I watch his lost expression. Milo, I'm going to help you guys, okay? I rest my hand on his shoulders reassuringly when Milo looks up at me. He, was, he has a familiar smile plastered on his face. Although I'm not too sure whether it's a real smile or he's just putting it on for me, I feel a little less worried. Okay, let's go find them. I left the cafe with Milo after telling my boss that he was my brother and we had a family emergency. I feel kind of bad about lying. Well, the family part was a lie, but this really is an emergency. Although I know how important it is to find the guys, there, there's a part of me brimming with happiness. I have to force myself to bite back my smile when I think about how, I, how they must feel. They have no home, no money, no idea what's going on. I'm filled with worry as I remember how panicked their lost Milo had looked. This must be so confusing. I jump as I feel Milo grab my shoulder subtly. Hey, Michiko, I think that's... Milo pointed ahead of us at a figure exiting an electronics store and I immediately recognize him. That's the guy from this morning. Which guy? Just as I'm thinking of ways to approach him. Hey, boss! Milo shouts cheerfully. I see boss stepping before slowly looking our way. He glares at the both of us. Oh, hello, Milo. <laughs> he crosses his arm and sighs. I don't see why you had to shout, though. Oh my god, it's him. It's really boss. Boss's attention finally falls on me. Oh, you're the woman who paid for my coffee this morning. Those eyes, <laughs> those eyes, she's just falling in love with his eyes. As Milo approaches him, Foss stretches out his hand for a handshake. Milo completely ignores it and goes in for a hug. Foss, I'm so glad to see you. Milo tightens his hug around a frazzled Foss as he tries to squirm free. But what do you think you're... I can't hold back my laughter anymore and start snickering. What are you laughing at? Yikes, I mainly stifle my laugh as Foss glares at me. Come on, Foss, don't be so cold. She's gonna help us. Help us? Oh, he doesn't know he's really from the game, just like Milo. I open my mouth to start explaining, but Milo interrupts. Help us get home, Foss. Look, Milo, I... <sighs> Foss still looks slightly irritated, but as he opens his mouth again to continue, he suddenly falls silent. Oh... My heart thuds painfully against my chest as I see Foss's eyes go wide while he tries to figure out where he came from. Just like Milo. Before I can say anything, Foss regains his composure. Ahem. <laughs> I suppose this will give me an opportunity to repay you for covering my coffee this morning. I smile and Milo puts Pat's Foss on the shoulder playfully before we cross the street heading for the park. Milo and Foss chat behind me as I led the way, trying to retrace my steps and find the guy, find the guys I'd run into the into at the park. Yeah, it's so weird, right? I didn't realize I couldn't figure out where my home or work or where anything was until I really tried to think about it. Well, Milo's really the one doing all the talking. Oh, is that? Oh, wait, never mind. That's not him. I stop in my tracks as I catch sight of a familiar face. I don't even need to check my phone to know who he is. Dimitri! They both shout at the same time. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, it's you. That's such a great way to greet someone. His eyes twinkle at me as one side of his mouth twitches up. Oh my god, that look. I bite my lip and try to stop the blush that's flooding my cheeks. I already know Dimitri is a flirty type from the game, but experiencing this charm in person is something else entirely. Hello, Dimitri? Milo steps in between Dimitri and I and places his hand on his hips. His mouth curves into a pout as he glares at Dimitri. Are you going to ignore us? <sighs> his expression falters for a moment and then... Wait, for a moment, then his suave grin is back as he turns away from me. Suave or suave? I don't know. And towards his two friends. Apologies, I was distracted. As he says this, he gives me a wink. Can't the flirting wait until later, Dimitri? We're trying to sort out some business. 
it's always business with you, isn't it? What Foss means to say is that something's come up and you need to come with us. The Rachel doesn't seem concerned. Concerned. In fact, it doesn't look as if he's listening to one word Milo says. He's staring at me out of the corner of his eye, giving me a look that clearly says, Can you believe this guy? Dimitri! Milo tugs his on his arm, but Dimitri isn't taking his eyes off me. We're wasting time, Milo. If Dimitri wants to be stubborn, then let him stay here. Foss sounds annoyed as he crosses his arms. Foss is right, we can't really afford to waste time. As I think about it, I realize how long it has, has been since I last spotted Enzo, Jen, and Alistair, and start to panic a little. Crap, the longer I wait here, the more likely it is that they've moved on and gone somewhere else. Wait, if this is really Dimitri the char charismatic flirt, an idea crosses my mind. Dimitri, just come with us, please? I wince internally as I force myself to bat my eyelashes and smile at him. Dimitri's eyes widen in surprise before he grins at me. Well, I can't say no to that. Ugh, really, Dimitri? It worked. I can't believe it worked. I can feel my heart pounding as I look at the three of them. We continue to continue further into the parking, into, into the parking, into the park, heading back where the route I passed earlier. My stomach twists and knots as I look for the faces I noticed this morning. Enzo, Jen, Milo, do you really have to shout? Ah, <sighs> Foss, always the fun police. Guys, now wasn't really the time. I saw trying to tune out their bickering as I scan the park for Jen. He was listening to a musician, right? The faint sound of guitar strumming reaches my ears. Do you guys hear that? Hear what? The, the guitar? Heart racing, I jog across the grass towards the music, but instead of seeing the guitarist with Jen listening, it's the other way around. He's humming and strumming the strings with his fingers while the musician watches and nods. Jen! The musician stops as Jen looks up at me. His hand, he hands the guitar back to its owner and approaches me. Hey, doing... <laughs> Here's Milo coming in. We both turn at the shout and see Milo and Dimitri waving. Hello. Hey, Jen. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, what are you all doing here? Apparently something happened, but she says she can help us out. Um, you have to come with us, Jen. We'll explain later. Jen looks somewhat overwhelmed with all of their talking, but smiles at everyone and shrugs. Alright, I'm not totally sure what's going on here, but I trust you guys. And then turns his gaze to me. I don't think we've met. Uh, it's <laughs> we will. His kind of smile makes my heart beat faster. He keeps his gaze on me as he smiles and waits for my name. I'm Chico. Jin takes my hand in a gentle handshake. That's a lovely name. It's nice to meet you. Hey, don't go stepping on my turf, Jen. Dimitri winks playfully. Come on, guys. We still haven't found Enzo and Alistair. Jen gives me a soft smile and gently pats my shoulder. I can feel my cheeks growing wet. Wet. Red. But <laughs> he then sighs and joins my own conversation. Two more guys. Where did you last see Enzo again? Uh, he was just taking a nap in the grass a little bit that way. I point towards my house, the direction I'd walked earlier, and tripped over him. You look nervous. I'm getting a little jealous. Dimitri is fake pouting with a glint in his eyes. Um, nothing happened. I just tripped over him this morning. You did what? It's not your fault, Chico. It's his. It's his. We're sleeping in the <laughs> sleeping in the middle of the park. Hey, loud mouths. Enzo glared as, glares up at us from under a nearby tree. He huffs, blowing some stray bangs out of his eyes. This is a public park, you know. Maybe try keeping it down. Indeed. Maybe you shouldn't be sleeping here then. Enzo, we were <laughs> we were looking all over for you. Well, uh, not all over. Enzo groans grumpily. His eyes finally fall on me. Hey, you're the girl from this morning. Crap, he looks pissed. Uh, maybe take it easy on me, Chico? Yeah, she's here to help us all out, so play nice. <sighs> play nice. Okay, sure. There's a few seconds of silence before I realize Enzo had no intention of coming with us. Enzo, you should probably come with us. You're sounding awfully familiar with me. Oops. One of you told this stranger about me? No, I... We didn't tell her anything, but she knows us and knows how to help. I can see that Enzo isn't really buying it, but his interest is piqued. Okay, this is Enzo. He seems scary, but you know everything about him. I take a deep breath to face him with my hands on my hips. Look, Enzo, if you want to just lay here in the grass, that's fine. But don't come crying to me later when you have a you don't have a place to sleep tonight. His 
face is suddenly inches from mine as he glares down at me. This is a great way to end it, right, guys? Because we're going to end it right here. And this is going to be episode... Two, not one, two. Bam. Enzo has no home. At, at this point, I really thought I would be going towards Enzo. Because he's usually the type of guy I would go for. The mysterious type of personality. But then, ultimately, they're super sweet. Just like it seduced me and went for Damien. Who was kind of mysterious. Since he was like to himself. But he was honestly a sweetheart. But surprisingly I'm going after... Crap, I don't know his name. The guy that was listening to the guitarist. Whoever he is. I really thought I was going to go after Milo as well. But I didn't. This game has changed the personality type <laughs> that I go for in these games. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I honestly am. I can't wait for this whole game to come out. I might purchase it. I might purchase it. Because it's so interesting so far. But thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.